What is going on guys? We're back with another video and we are doing another what if experiment. It has actually been a little bit of time and we did one of these last year but of course this one is a doable repeat because obviously every year the fringe can be different unless we're caught in a time loop which if we are bring me back to 2011 when we all thought we were going to die a year later. So of course not every one of these guys is going to let be let go. Larry Fitzgerald probably retires a Cardinal. Uh, Tyler Eifert, I... Actually, you never know. <laughs> you never know. The offensive line class, not really looking super great. Quarterback class, really bad. Last year, we, we had Drew Brees, obviously. He wasn't really a free agent, but he was a pending. And it's rare for a quarterback to even be considered, you know, like, no one really thinks about the next year's class until, you know, it's, oh, damn, he's not signed yet? Okay. So a guy like Bell more than likely hits free agency. Kareem Hunt, we know, uh... Uh, the Chiefs kicked him out, and uh, he's a free agent. Word choices. Uh, Tevin Coleman, I don't think they can afford to pay him starting running back money, which is what I would assume he's going to chase. Mark Ingram, this could be very interesting. Uh, we'll see there. Tyrell Williams, very unlikely he hits free agency. You never know. Golden Tate, I think there's a good chance he does. Uh, I don't know why I'm going in every single player, but why not? Uh, CJ Mosley, no. Clowney, there's a good chance. They're paying a lot for that defense. Anthony Barr, I doubt it. Tyron Matthew, no. Uh, Verrett, very, very good chance it happens. D. Lawrence, he might have actually already gotten re-signed. If he didn't, there's no chance. Sue, a decent chance. Brandon Graham, kind of a decent chance. I would assume they're going to play pay Trey Flowers. Grady Jarrett, I don't know if they can afford him. I, I don't know every team's money situation. Clinton Dix, I, I would assume they sign him. Earl Thomas. There's a good chance he's a free agent. And then Joyner, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but there's a decent bit, you know, decent bit of these players probably will at free agency. If Clowney gets the free agency, he is going to go for a lot of money. A lot of money. So we only have 44 guys here, but that's enough to get the job done. What the hell is the XP sliders at? Okay. I just, uh, yep. <laughs> so I did this last year, of course, because I have no originality. <laughs> but... I did two seasons then, and I kind of want to do two here. The reason why I like to do two is because I need to get to 10 minutes, all right? Let's just stop joking around. Let's stop beating around the bush. <laughs> but I do want to see how many of these guys can actually be kept. Of course. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I caught it. We're about to see the spoilers. No, we aren't because it's... Okay, we're... Okay, that's pretty cool. But uh, I wanted to see who actually stays, you know, who might retire Talking about you, Larry. Normal dev for Larry. Oh, it's so rude. 99 defense, of course. Uh, we didn't even upgrade. I don't know if they couldn't upgrade because I had it set. I have no clue. Pretty sure I had it on weekly, though. Yeah, definitely didn't have it on weekly. Uh, Clint Dix looks like he had a pretty good season. So to show you guys we didn't cheat, I don't know what sort of uh, motive I would have to do that. Wow, look at the streak. We lost the first three in the first four games. I know that's a mouthful. Uh, your mod number, uh, what? 12, uh, 12 wins straight. That's, that's pretty damn impressive. Can't lie. So let's take a look at the stats and then we'll obviously take a look at the wards. Maybe take a look at the teams that lost major players and see how that turned out. So Teddy Bridgewater, I honestly have no clue. Does he stay with the Saints and wait long term? I probably would. I don't know if I would risk it if I was him. Uh, a very split backfield. Wow, really? So, uh, Mark Ingram actually had more carries than Le'Veon Bell, which is insane, but obviously yards per carry, pretty damn much higher on Le'Veon's part. Receiving, absolutely horrible. Like, the Colts are, like, the most selfless team going, it looks like. like. They literally give the ball to anyone that's open. Anyone that's on the field has a chance of getting the ball at any particular time. Sack total, pretty damn good. Can't lie. Which is ironic because... Wait, do the Colts automatically run a 3-4? Because I definitely meant to create this team as a 4-3. I'm just saying. I'm not going to gonna bring it up. You guys saw the kickers. I forgot about them before because they aren't real players. Uh, where else are we going? So we're in the AFC, not NFC. Any awards at all? So Offensive Player of the Year, Teddy Bridgewater at 10. Not bad. CJ Mosley got Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, I got Defensive Rookie of the Year. Running back of the year is Mark Ingram, surprisingly. It was, I mean, he had a lot of touchdowns, but it really didn't seem like a season. Uh, we actually had a really good team, so the Colts obviously normally don't do nearly that well. Let's take a quick look at uh, 
Well, let's just take a glance at the season rankings for some of the teams. So the Steelers, they usually have Bell, even though he didn't play for them in real life. Nine and seven, that's, I mean, that's nothing crazy. Was there any other crazy, like Cowboys maybe? They lost to Marcus Lawrence. It's a pretty big piece, especially in real life. The Texans, they usually do really well. They lost Clowney. I can't remember who I gave to each team, but yeah. So, I mean, that's really not much of a spoiler at all. So we have advances. Let's see. So the Steelers, speaking of them, Le'Veon Bell playing his former team, and his former team gets the best of them. That's interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. So the Chargers and the Redskins, and the Redskins lose by three. Uh, it's interesting because Clinton Dix is, uh, was a Redskin, technically. So how many players did we lose to free? All right. I'm not sad. I'm not sad at all. So, uh, Jared Cook, he either retired or just left. Mark Ingram, he fled. Uh, Josh Gordon moves up the lineup because Larry Fitzgerald more than likely died. He might have hit free agency, to be fair. So, three linemen left. Uh, defensively, we're pretty much intact, I would say. I mean, it really didn't affect us too much. Clinton Dix is actually a really high overall. What dev is he? Star dev. Damn, he is solid as can be. Good job, Green Bay. Uh, so let's take a look at the draft, see if they filled any of those positions. And then let's see how they do without those guys. Actually, let's see a free agent recap. Did any of the guys we had, did they go anywhere? I was like, I forgot about Kareem Hunt. He's a Ram now. Did they really need Todd Gurley and Kareem Hunt? I guess we had Bell and Kareem, but <laughs> still. So we actually lost a lot more guys than I can remember. Trey Flowers became a Dolphin. Sue went back to the Rams. All right, so maybe that's some foreshadowing. Who knows? Lamarcus Joyner. Uh, signed what is appears to be a very expensive deal with the Dolphins. Dolphins making Trey Flowers and Joyner very rich players. Uh, Sheldon Richardson uh, went to the Bills. Mark Ingram to the Bengals. Tevin Coleman to the Jets. That'd be an interesting fit. Uh, and that's pretty much all that I can remember. I guess Jared Cook to the Cardinals. Maybe Larry didn't retire? Larry usually doesn't retire. Is, did he actually this time? He actually did retire, I think. Pretty sure he did. Wow, interesting. The Colts made Larry retire. Sweet. So let's simulate the draft. Take a quick look at that, I guess. It really doesn't even matter. And then we'll see what happens the next year. Want to see what goes about. So draft recap. What do we got? Wow. Okay. I forgot I had no draft picks. Way to go, Indianapolis. Terrible draft picks. Just absolutely horrendous. So who do they fill? So Questenberry and then Warmack. All right. If you say so. So still a pretty damn high overall. I don't know how that works. We must have we must have just skimmed the very minimum we could, which is not true because we got rid of like eight huge playmakers. And of course, obviously I had to uh, drain some of the contracts off of these players. I think the the and well that's not even counting real life rosters. Just the base money they have now to put them on this team would have probably been over like 250, 300 mil cap. Like it's ridiculous. But obviously new contracts, not all the way, you know, not always the case, but damn good chance those contracts might even equal that much or more. Ridiculous. Maybe I'm even over-exaggerating. I don't care. I don't know. So without those players, the Colts go 8-8. Eight and eight. Still a good record. Obviously, with even with losing those players, still better than the real-life Colts roster. Kinda. I did get rid of Leonard and, you know, Andrew Luck. So it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater is a quick dev player now. Uh, anyone else that would have went up from the uh, the opportunity? Not Tyrell, I'll tell you who. Defensively, uh, I don't... Did Clinton Dex go up in dev? He went down. All right. Well, let's... Uh, well, I guess we'll take a quick look at the stats, and then we're going to quickly get through this playoff so we can get you guys on, your, on the rest of your day, whatever that may be, whether you're going to Fortnite or... You're stripping on a pole for the rest of the evening. It's up to you, really. Eight and a half, 18 and a half sacks for Clowney. That's that's really next level. Totally forgot to put him in a 4-3 again, but hey, it is what it is. It's Things happen. A good pass rusher, even if they're small in the 3-4, is gonna they're going to do what they need to do, you know? So it doesn't really matter. Going to the offseason. What do we got? Who's the winner? So the Rams... Win over the Patriots. Did the Rams really have Todd Gurley and Kareem Hunt? Don't tell me they did. Please don't tell me they did. 
and they did. Wow, do you really need both of those players? Could you imagine trying to defend them? And the sad part is, that could freaking happen. I, I don't know how, how it works. Like, does Kareem become a proper free agent? Like, his rookie deal, all of that's, like, evaporated? Like, I guarantee, you know, he gets the guarantees. But how does that work? I Like, does Kareem Hunt kicking a lady actually make him richer? Like, with Ray Rice, he was kind of at the end of his career. You know, he's an older player, and... His was really rough. This Kareem Hunt video, don't get me wrong, it's rough, but it's not to that extent. Does this actually make him richer? Kind of like the Victor Cruz scenario where he was an undrafted, uh, I believe he was an undrafted rookie, and then he ended up getting a lot of money much quicker. You know, like if he would have been on a rookie deal, he would have been like probably a fifth, maybe a tenth less rich because, you know, he kind of like fell out of the NFL after a quick couple of years. So that's interesting to see what happens with Kareem Hunt. This really wasn't what the video was supposed to be. Totally forgot. No, actually, Golden Tate stayed on the team. Never mind. But yeah, that's what it looks like. The Colts become a 13 and 3 team using all of 2019's rookie or free agents, potential free agents. Let me know what you guys think is the biggest name coming into free agency. Like we might, you know, a lot of people probably say Bell, but the Steelers did say they plan on bringing him back. But let's be honest, if they actually bring him back, I have no freaking clue. How anyone in power for Pittsburgh has their jobs. That's all I'm going to say. You lost them for an entire year. Alienated each other. You know, different positions on the team. And alienated him. This and that. And you still paid him. And you lost a year. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I just don't see it happening. I just hope the Packers can get clowny. That's all I want. That's all I want. I don't care. I'll overpay. At this point, I'm desperate. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously. 2019 free agents couldn't win the Super Bowl, but they make for one hell of a team. I'll tell you what, lots of good-looking running backs coming in this class. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any suggestions for videos like this that we could do, uh, you know, once the season ends, which is, you know, in February technically, uh, I'll probably do another fantasy draft tip video because I actually like making those videos because it actually helps me as well. Uh, and the rosters are final at that point. And uh, you guys seem to like it. It's one of our more viewed videos. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see a, a new series? Ultimate? I don't. Just let me know. But hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, follow me on Twitter. Drop your care. See ya!